Tonight, a woman is in the hospital after a shootout on I-4. The Polk County Sheriff says two motorcycle gangs started shooting at each other while speeding down the interstate. This happened around midnight near US-27. News 6's Crystal Moyer is following this story live in studio for us tonight. Crystal, uh, there is a lot to unpack here. Yeah, Lisa, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says there doesn't appear to be any rivalry between the two motorcycle gangs. He says both groups are traveling along I-4 East when one group passed the other and shots rang out. Sheriff Judd describing the shootout as a scene from an old Western movie. The outlaws, instead of being on horses, were on mo motorcycles. I guess you could call them iron horses. Sheriff Judd says 38-year-old Ronald Donovan fired the first shot while riding with two other members of the Sin City Disciples motorcycle gang along I-4 near US-27 in Polk County. Sheriff Judd says he shot a 36-year-old man from the Thug Riders gang who passed him on the interstate. Victim one says I felt the sharp pain in the back as I was shot. And I immediately returned fire toward Ronald Donovan. That bullet hitting the head of a 33-year-old woman riding on the back of Donovan's motorcycle. She is mortally wounded. Deputies were called to the scene, shutting down parts of I-4 for several hours early Friday morning. We had to search for evidence and firearms all up and down the interstate. There was a half-mile trail of empty casings. Sheriff Judd says the man who shot the woman was acting in self-defense, and that's why he's not being charged. Donovan was arrested and is facing charges including attempted felony murder, attempted first-degree murder, and battery on a law enforcement officer. We've had a lot of lying going on. We've had people that don't talk. We've had evidence hidden. We've had, wit we've had at least witnesses and possible co-defendants that, that fled on us, and we'll find you too. Donovan is from Brevard County and digging through court records, I found out he has a lengthy criminal history. He spent three years in a Pasco County prison for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. He also spent time in the Brevard County Jail for DUI and fleeing law enforcement. Matt. Okay, Crystal, thank you.